Hi everyone, meteorologist Bill Renschler in the 1011 Now streaming studio. Wanted to bring you a kind of a winter outlook uh, for uh, Nebraska and the coverage area as the National Weather Service recently released their winter outlook. Again, taking us basically December, January, and into the months of February. And it involves a little bit of a deeper dive into uh, uh, El Nino and, and a few other things. So I wanted to go through uh, and kind of explain that uh, to everyone. So first, the first thing that we need to do uh, looking at this longer range forecast is take a look at what El Nino is exactly because we're coming out of a La Nina and into an El Nino and a fairly strong El Nino uh, as well. So uh, when we're talking La Nina and El Nino, we're talking about sea surface temperatures uh, across parts of the eastern Pacific. And normally what we have happen is trade winds blow, blow from east to west, push some warmer surface waters further into the western, central and western Pacific. But when we have an El Nino, uh, basically what happens is, is you have trade winds that weaken and we see warm sea surface temperatures uh, across the eastern Pacific and again that's certainly what we've seen happening over the last several months as we've transitioned from a neutral phase and into uh, an El Nino and what this does what this change in sea surface temperatures does is does affect sort of the global circulations uh, that we see uh, including the jet streams and so we see a little bit of a more active Pacific jet which tends to uh, at least in the winter time lead to uh, slightly cooler and wetter than normal conditions across parts of the southern U.S. into Mexico. Again, cooler because it is wetter and we see uh, generally tend to see uh, warmer and drier conditions across parts of north uh, western and uh, north central sections of the country and then sort of drier than average conditions kind of across the Ohio Valley and into parts uh, of the Midwest. And so that's kind of the typical wintertime pattern when it comes to uh, an El Nino. If we look at that uh, Oceanic Nino Index, uh, again, you can see the past a couple of years, really, we've been stuck in a La Nina uh, and coming out of that La Nina and into a pretty uh, strong El Nino again, one of the stronger ones that we've seen at least in recent memory and so again how is that going to affect uh, our wintertime conditions again potential snowfall and temperatures uh, and things like that so this is a look at the National Weather Service's winter outlook that they recently uh, put out uh, again temperature wise again kind of matches up with what we see uh, in that general wintertime pattern with an El Nino uh, above average or at least uh, decent odds at above average conditions through that December, January, February time frame for, again, the northern tier of the country with near normal conditions expected across parts of the Front Range in Colorado down into New Mexico, across parts of North Texas and into Oklahoma. You'll notice Lincoln, uh, parts of northern, northeastern, east central sections of Nebraska, kind of in the better than average odds at seeing above average temperatures. What about precipitation? Again, kind of matches up pretty well with that general wintertime pattern for an El Nino. A little bit drier across the far northern parts of the country into the Great Lakes. Wetter than average conditions expected or favored. Uh, again, kind of across uh, anywhere from uh, California into uh, the Four Corners, down into the Southern Plains, and into the Southeast. And again, so uh, that is that general uh, wintertime pattern that we usually see. Again, it's always kind of tough in the middle part of the country, especially in Nebraska, across the Central Plains, because we're kind of right on the edge uh, of either seeing maybe some wetter than normal conditions or warmer than normal conditions. Uh, so again, we kind of have to look at winter's past to kind of maybe give us an idea uh, of what kind of snowfall that we could see. But what is normal for us, at least in Lincoln, uh, again, this is what normal is. Uh, the new 30-year uh, climate normals came out uh, a few years ago. Uh, we average for the season 26 inches of snow. Again, about an inch in October, a little over an inch in November. Things really ramp up as we hit that December, January, February time frame. That's when we see the majority of our snow. Again, see about 17, 18, 19 inches during that time frame, a little over 5 inches in December, a little 6.5 inches in January, and just over 7 inches in February, still averaging about 3.5 in March, a little over an inch in April, and do actually average a tenth of an inch uh, in the uh, month of May. Uh, so again, that's what normal would it would be considered uh, for Lincoln. If you look at the seasonal snowfall totals, though, over the past 10 years, again, we've been pretty far away uh, from normal. 
uh, again, certainly last the last two seasons, again, 21-22, we only had 14.3 inches of snow in Lincoln. The year before that, we had a record low amount of snow, 5.1 inches. The year before that, though, 2019-2020, uh, we had almost uh, 50 inches of snow. Uh, and we had over 50 inches of snow in 2017-2018. Uh, we had 55.5 inches of snow. And then the years preceding that were ranging anywhere from uh, 7.5 inches of snow to around 20 to 21 inches of snow. So that's kind of where things have been over the last 10 years. Again, the 30-year average being right around 26 inches uh, of snowfall. So again, looking at some winters past, again, a few of them come to mind. Uh, again, there's 1972-1973 uh, as we came out of a La Nina and into a fairly prolonged and strong El Nino. In Lincoln, we had just under 30 inches uh, of snow that season. 1997-1998, again, it's kind of the same deal coming out of a La Nina into an El Nino. We had 44.6 inches of snow. Uh, more recently, again, again 2009 to 2010, uh, kind of the same deal. We had a little over 41 inches of snow. 2018-2019 was one of those years where we kind of... Coming out of a La Nina into an El Nino, uh, and again uh, had some uh, had some higher amounts. If, again, the winters I looked at uh, that kind of com uh, maybe compare to kind of where we've been uh, or where we will be as we move forward. Average around 30 inches of snow. So again, if I had to give a forecast for this upcoming winter. Uh, it would likely, it can certainly be more than we've had the last couple seasons when we had a record low amount uh, and then 14 or so inches last season. Uh, I would think we're going to be a lot closer to normal as we head through this upcoming winter. Uh, probably between about 26 and 32 inches would be my uh, forecast prediction, uh, again, for the Lincoln area and eastern sections of the state for this upcoming uh, winter season.